All right, we're standing out here with Z Books Entertainment. We out here in the Mr. Harlem world, uh, representing Harlem Week here. We with the legendary DJ Red Alert. What's up, my man? <laughs> I just happen to be one of the residents of Harlem. That's all. Hey, it's nothing wrong with that. I mean, Harlem, Harlem's like a tradition to us. You know what I'm saying? We from Brooklyn. You know, we, you know what I'm saying? But Harlem's always been on the map. It's always been a thing with us. You know, respect to every other borough that is throughout the time, you know, we've been doing our thing. But something about Harlem in Manhattan, um, it's like it have its own progression. It have its own flair, its own style, its own swagger. And from what I learned, there's a lot of things that got picked up across the country and matter of fact around the world that started from Harlem uh -huh. that a lot of people don't know about. So I'm happy to be a part of here. That's what's up. All right, but you've been a record spinner, a DJ for Lord knows how. What, what do you think the new wave of, of DJing and radio and places like BT shows are headed toward? That go according to two sides, the creators and the consumers. The creators that know how to formulate and, and present the package in the right way and the so, uh, consumers that know how they want to support it and embrace it. That's what I can only say. It's hard to tell you where it's going because you had no idea for the past 10, 15, 20, 25 years I've been doing it. But if you learn how to go through growth and also have given support, it can nourish. Right. But then you, but, but as it moves along, do you see any, the major changes? What are the major changes that you see? Oh, there have been a lot of major changes all during the time. You know, I mean, look how it was where in order for you here, they hear hip hop on radio was like late night in the weekends. The weekends. Okay, excuse me one minute, Keith. This is my man Keith Sly from the neighborhood, you know, from Harlem. Um, look at his now as hip hop mainstream. You know, it's all different sections of hip hop. You know, some people may. Keith, one minute, one minute. I'm being interviewed, okay? Respect, okay? Here it is. Um, a lot of people don't understand that, you know, what you see on TV and what you hear on radio is not just the only thing. There's so many different centers of hip-hop, but it had came from with late nights on radio. It, it, it time with Ralph McDaniels on Video Music Box. We shovel for what it is today. And where it's going, we hope it's for the better. Because y'all built the foundation. I say that about you, I say that about Ralph. With that video music box, you know, I grew up watching it, you know, that, all that is in my face, that's all in my realm. So I watch it as it grow. Uh, being a music lover, a lover of entertainment, you know, at, at, at its whole, at its best, I like to see situations like this and the cast come out. Oh, greatly, greatly, because, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people don't understand in the sense that we just lost two greats, Bernie and Isaac. And I had the privilege to work with Isaac because, you know, I was working for Kiss FM when I was at Hot 97, and we was under the same um, company, MS Broadcast. What I love about Isaac, I'm not sugarcoating it, he was a very natural, unique person that no matter what level of life you was going through, he treats everybody the same. No matter, and you know, this man seen it all, done it all, been through it all, but still tends to everybody the same way. So when you see somebody as an icon like him, and make you learn where is it that you want to take from there. That's what's up, man. And that's a blessing. We're going to miss Isaac. We're definitely going to miss the black man, Bernie. You know what I'm saying? We lost some of the greats. We lost Luther. We lost a couple of greats. But the, the work they did, you really don't feel the loss in that sense. No. Because their work lives on. No. And it's within us. No. And that's what I'm trying to say, that there's a lot of people that don't understand in the 70s ever. That a lot of people was being so dominant with black culture. Black culture that was very small, but was trying to break through the grounds. Trying to break through on, the, on radio, break through on television, break through in films. That for, for Isaac Hayes, there is a Neo. Just say as an example. So that's what I'm saying, groundbreakers. I mean, I even look at it, he opened the door for me because, you know, what he was bringing to the table was the black movement through his music. Right. With a host of other different people. That's why I miss it.
That's what's up. My man Red Alert, man. It's a blessing to see. This is a whole blessing to see. I seen all the vendors because we came up through, uh, you know, a couple of blocks down just to walk through and get a feel of the, the whole surrounding. It, it's just love, man. It just feels, you know. I am love. I am love by everybody, and I love them just the same. And you know what? Still walk these streets. Hey, if you can't, when it comes to the point where we feel we can't walk our own hoods. Look at it this way. I feel walking the streets is worth more than what's in your pocket. That's where I look at. And that's where that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. if you, once you can't do that no more, that becomes you become a hermit within your own mind. And who wants to live like that? You know what I mean? My man. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Good looking, Red. Respect to you, man. Enough respect to you, man. I love you, man. I love all the work you've been doing, Thank all you. the work you did, the work you're still doing. Because I watch, I look for everything. You're a blessing, bro. Thank you. <laughs> My brother.